hello my friends today we are going to look at how to take call manager backup for this you need to download this free tftpd third party software this is freely available software which you can download from the internet so i will put the link on this software you can download it from there so here you need to first select the backup location so i am planning to take the backup into my desktop here i have created empty folder and rename it as a cuc so you can create new folder as you want and now i am going to this tftp and here i am selecting my interface so i am connecting to the network with this interface so i am selecting that one and here tftp root directory you need to select this folder location so here i am selecting desktop and cucm then you can apply and save it then you can start the tf sorry ftp service so you can see it is running you can go to the status and you can see now ftp is running so in ssl you don't need to do anything go to the sftp here also you need to select the same interface and you need to do the same thing here you need to select the same folder location cucm and click ok then apply and save it then start the service now you can see both services are running but we need another thing actually we need user to communicate with the call manager here we need to create new user this is already created user i will remove this one and here i am going to add new user so i will select username as voice and here you need to select second one password stored as a sha1 hash then you need to select the password in here you can give simple password then here home directory you need to select the same backup location which means desktop cucm so I, now you can apply this one here you need to select the network interface and you need to select this backup destination folder and start the service in the sftp also you need to select the interface and you need to select the backup location same location and you need to start the service once you go to the users and you have created user after that inside the user you need to select the home directory as same backup location and you need to give the login and the password so keep remember the authorization method is password stored as a sha1 hash then you can apply it now these configurations are done so other part we need to complete on the call manager so in here you need to go to the call manager but not usual call administration page you need to go to the disaster recovery system keep remember you need to go disaster recovery system you need to click this one and click the go button then you will go to the disaster recovery login page it is not different only the name is different you need to use the login and login to the system yeah I'm sorry here I am login okay now I am logging to the disaster recovery page so in here you can see backup backup device schedule your manual backup several setup and restore wizard help option everything is there so here we need to first create the backup device once I am go to the backup device I can add new backup device in here so here we need to give the FTP server IP 
and here you need to select or you need to give the backup name and the name or directory so here the my pc ip address is 10201.5.222 that means this interface which we have given to this third party software path name or less root we mention it like this as a slash and username is voice and i will give my password and you can save it so once you saving call manager is checking whether this network directory is available or not once it is available it will update successful now the backup device is creation successful now we have to take the backup for that again you need to go to the backup and select the manual backup here we are going to take manual backup here you need to select the backup device from here the backup dash one is the backup device which we have created and here you can select what are the features you need to take into this backup so here i am going to select everything okay fine now i am going to start the backup you can see it will start you need to wait few minutes also in the this software if you go to the user sorry if you go to the online user you can see the user is pop up so that means this user is working and the backup process is started so you can see 5% 11% so here we go to the backup folder you can select sorry you can see the backup is coming to this folder here you can see okay go to the call manager and let's wait for the backup as you can see now it's 66% actually we need to wait another few minutes to complete the backup so we need to wait until it's go to the 100% so let's wait okay now you can see the backup is completed it is uh, 100% and all the success you can see and here you can refresh the page you go to the backup folder and you can see all the backup is completed actually it is about uh, uh, near 1 GB so you can have the backup like this so hope this is helpful for you if you have any queries any doubt please let me know thank you very much for watching thank you